Semiconductors are at the heart of modern life and each year, nearly a third of the semiconductors that all our electronics rely on, are fabricated in Taiwan, a small island nation with a population of just over 23 million people. Taiwan indubitably dominates the foundry market, i.e., the market for outsourced semiconductor manufacturing. Its contract manufacturers made up 60% of global foundry revenue in 2020, 90% of which was pocketed by one firm, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC. Making advanced chips requires using complex software, explosive chemicals, ultra-pure silicon, and machines costing hundreds of millions of dollars to pattern billions and billions of nanometer-sized transistors onto silicon wafers. For the past half-decade, TSMC has been the world's leader, its engineers pioneering secret methods to pattern chips with unprecedented accuracy at unparalleled scale. TSMC has around 55% of the global market for contract chip fabrication, far above OPEC's 40% market share for oil. And unlike the oil market, where each barrel is more or less the same, there are vast differences between types of chip. Taiwan produces almost all the most advanced processors, a market position that makes Saudi Arabia's 12% share of global oil production look unimpressive. While this might be all well in times of peace, the current tensions between China and Taiwan have everyone, especially the US, concerned, the entire modern world's digital infrastructure, from phones and computers to cars, microwaves and manufacturing equipment, depends on a small island, that China views as a rogue province with almost no one technically advanced enough to quickly pick up the pieces if TSMC were to suddenly shut down. While TSMC might also act as a shield against a destructive battle, a loss of semiconductor manufacturing capabilities would be disastrous for everyone involved. The future of the island, in the wake of China's recent threats, nevertheless, hangs in the balance. The United States is heavily dependent on a single company, TSMC, for producing its leading edge chips. The fact that only TSMC and Samsung, South Korea, can make the most advanced semiconductors, 5 nanometers in size, puts at risk the ability to supply current and future, U.S., national security and critical infrastructure needs. For this reason, the U.S. has taken significant steps to attract TSMC to begin manufacturing there, with the Biden administration providing support through a site purchase in Arizona. The CHIPS Act promises an injection of subsidies totaling $52 billion, but only if companies agree to not manufacture advanced semiconductors for Chinese entities. But what are semiconductors even? And how did a company on a small island become so central to modern computing? Semiconductors, also sometimes called integrated circuits or microchips, are materials that act as conductors or insulators of electricity, depending on the environment that they're in. They are made most commonly from silicon but materials like graphene, germanium, and silicon carbide are also semiconducting materials. Semiconductors are essential components of all electronics from smartphones and computers to solar energy panels and LED lights. What makes them crucial is the fact that they allow electronic devices to be much smaller and more energy efficient than they would otherwise be, which makes them especially ideal for use in portable electronic devices such as laptops and cell phones. Before Taiwan, the US was the hub of the most advanced chip making. In 1990, 37% of chips were made in American factories, by 2020 however, only 12% were. Whatever remained, had been shifted to Asia, Taiwan, South Korea and China. The roots of Taiwan's semiconductor industry can be traced back to the 1970s, when the Taiwanese government considered re-engineering the country's economic structure due to a series of political and economic setbacks. To do this, the Taiwanese government created the Industrial Technology Research Institute ITRI, which has since been a significant driver of Taiwan's tech industry and by extension, its overall economy. The first project that the ETRI worked on was a US$10 million United States dollars integrated circuit development project for the Radio Corporation of America. In 1981, the integrated circuit plant became United Microelectronics Corporation, Taiwan's first semiconductor company. TSMC however, was the company that truly reinvented the global chip-making industry with a completely new chip fabrication business model, and put Taiwan on the map. Founded in 1987 by Morris Chong, TSMC began as a collaboration between the Taiwanese government, Philips, the tech giant, and private investors interested in semiconductor technology. Since it began, there's been no looking back. In 1994, TSMC went public and partnered with AMD to become the company's foundry for AM486 processors. This relationship led to a robust business expansion that propelled sales growth of nearly 60%, resulting in $1.45 billion in revenue and an impressive net income of $718 million by 1996, the year in which TSMC became the first Taiwanese company to be listed on the New York Stock Exchange.
Such successes enabled astonishing dividend payouts reaching over six figures per employee at the end of the year, demonstrating just how far TSMC had come. Today, TSMC is the world's largest contract chip manufacturer. Followed by South Korean company Samsung, over which it has a massive lead, and UMC, in third place. In addition to TSMC and UMC, there are also other smaller Taiwanese companies that play an important role in the global semiconductor industry. Together, Taiwan's contract manufacturers made up 60% of global foundry revenue in 2020. So why is Taiwan so successful in the semiconductor industry? There are a number of reasons. First off, Taiwan has a large pool of highly educated engineers and technicians who are able to work at very competitive wages. Second, Taiwanese companies benefit from the strong support of the government. In addition to investing heavily in research and development, the government provides subsidies and tax breaks to companies operating in certain industries, including semiconductors, that it wants to promote. Third, the market for semiconductors has been expanding rapidly giving Taiwan added business and associated economies of scale. Finally, the semiconductor industry is also extremely competitive and has exceptionally high barriers to entry. Setting up a fabrication plant requires extensive engineering expertise, costs billions of dollars, and technology quickly becomes obsolete as the new best thing comes on the market. All things considered Taiwan's rise to prominence in the semiconductor industry is a remarkable story. From a tiny island nation with a population of just over 23 million people, Taiwan, thanks to a large pool of skilled workers and supportive government policies, has become the world's undisputed leader in semiconductor manufacturing and by extension, one of the key pillars on which modern life depends. If you made it this far, thank you for your time. Follow me and subscribe to stay with me in future posts mostly on investing, finance and the economy. If you have any investing topics that you'd like for me to cover, please drop them in the comments below.